Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be creating a range effect, kind of like the sentry tower, as we can see here. Uh, the marines now have a range on their weapon, or like a siege tank in siege mode. And it's only working on the marines. Uh, sadly, we have to do some workarounds, uh, but um, it is working, at least. And you can create this on your own map easily. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm also going to show off at the end of this video, I'm going to show off some other ways you can use what I'm going to teach you today to create cool spell effects or whatever else you want for your map. It's really extensible. So let's go to the editor. Before I start on uh, actually making what we're going to make today, I just want to show you another guy on YouTube that's making really cool tutorials as well. Uh, it goes under this name. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. But if you go to his channel, I'll post a link in the comments, you will find he has already uploaded some pretty neat tutorials on how to make shops, day and night system, and some hero stuff, and other things, which are quite cool. So check out his channel. And uh, I will also do something with the bases in his tutorial here later. He made that aura tutorial on how to make uh, auras. Um, and I'll show you something at the end of this tutorial that I did based on his stuff. So onwards to what we're going to make today. I've created the map here. I just added some marines and salads. That's all I've done so far. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the data editor. We're going to go to behaviors. And we're going to add a new one. Um, it's called Marine Range Indicator. It's going to be above, and that's fine. We're just going to leave everything empty here. You could change stuff, but I just need a buff. I don't need it to do anything at all. So that's fine. Uh, we're then going to go into Actors here. And we've got a Siege. Here you will see C tank range. This is the one I used as a basis when I figured out how to do this. So I'm just going to add a new update. Uh, marine weapon range. You could have spaces in here. And it's going to be a type range. Uh, C actor range is the one that they use. So we're going to use that. And we're going to copy from the siege tank range. And we hit OK. All right, and in our marine actor range, we're going to set the weapon here to the marine gas rifle. Hopefully, you can see that. All right. Then we need to edit these events here, and events are really, really useful. You can do a lot of cool stuff with them. I'll explain what this does already. What this does currently is looking for to see if you have selected a siege tank in siege mode. And if it does, it will create this weapon range actor. And if you stop selecting it, uh, it will destroy it. It will also show it if you have a tank selected and click the morph ability. And it will um, destroy, destroy it if you morph it back to a normal siege tank. So uh, there is a bug currently, so we have to do a workaround. When the full game is out, I assume this will be fixed. And you can do it just like this. You can use the selection update to add the range indicator. And you can just take selection update start here. I will show you. I will actually just remove all of these. So we're going to remove everything that is in here already. Uh, you can leave this one. This one is useful to have anyway. So if it somehow gets orphaned, if it's left alone to itself, it will destroy it. Anyway, so. We add one of these, we go here, select it, then we can select when this should happen, and then you can have selection update local, when some selection is made locally on the machine, and then you have a start and stop, you would usually just go to start, and then you would select the source here for your unit. However, there is a bug in the editor now, at least I assume it's a bug, because I cannot select a source. So now it will be any unit. 
and we don't want that. We don't want this effect to appear when any unit is selected, we want it to appear when the marine is selected. So we're going to do a workaround, and instead we're going to set this to behavior up here. Source name, we're going to find our marine range indicator, and then create. So when this effect is added to a unit, I'm going to select here, and we're just going to help create. Then it will create this range indicator. Then we're going to add another event, and once again, we're going to go to behavior. Marine range thing, uh, marine range indicator. Destroyed, when it is destroyed, as in removed from a unit, we should destroy this effect. So basically what will happen now is if we add this buff to a unit, it will create this range indicator. And if the buff is removed, it will destroy this range indicator. So all we need to do now for our little workaround is to add a trigger that will add this buff that we created to our marines when they are selected. And then it will show it. And then we just remove the buff when the marine is deselected. And it's fairly simple. Uh, once this bug is fixed, you could do this a lot easier with just using the select. That way you don't have to do the triggers. But for now, we will do it with triggers. So I go into a trigger editor, just remove all of these. I'm going to add a variable, marine uh, no, selected unit. You could, uh, this is so we can remove it from the old unit. You could uh, make this work on multiple units. So you could have uh, up to, say, 50 units selected at once. But I'm just going to do a single unit selection. And we're going to do a new trigger and unit selected event unit is selected actions uh, we're going to need uh, no we're not going to need we're going to add a if then else we're going to need two of these I will start with the first one. First, what we want to do is we want to deselect the old unit. So we'll check if um, our variable selected unit for the triggering player equals no unit. There's a function in here. No uh, preset. No unit. If it's not equal to no unit, so that we have a unit selected, then we will just behavior, remove behavior, marine range indicator. I'll explain what I'm doing here. If you don't can't follow along, I'll explain it after I'm done setting it up. From unit, uh, variable, selected unit, triggering players. This is the old unit that was selected. We're doing this in reverse order now. And triggering player. So when it comes in here, if there is a unit stored in selected unit, uh, if it's not equal to no unit, it's going to do this. It's going to remove the marine range indicator. We don't care. We're only going to store marines in here anyway. So we're going to add a new if then. Control, control W is the shortcut to add a new action here. And then we're going to check unit type. Unit type of triggering units, the unit that has been selected, if that's equals to a marine. Okay. If it is a marine that's selected, then we'll have to add the behavior. Once again, the marine range indicator to the unit, and that's the triggering unit. From player, this is just who adds it, and we'll take the triggering player adds it. And then we're going to set variable. We're going to stuff uh, the selected unit for triggering player. It's going to be the triggering unit. All right. And if we not, if we don't have any units selected, we'll just set variable since we've deselected selected unit for triggering player. You don't really have to do this, but 